and then drizzle and put this right on top. Whoa! Okay, new piece. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. That Chocolate Bee with me, Erin Wells. And you read that title correctly. Today we're gonna make a lobster and crab pizza. Let's get started. Okay, so first guys, we're gonna start off with heart of palm. I took out the heart of palm, I rinsed them off. Don't know if you have to do that, but I did. And then I cut them with the kitchen scissors. You can cut them with a the knife. This was me just kind of being lazy and doing what needs to be done. Cut, cut, cut until I got the like crab-like pieces I want. You can go as small as you want, does not matter. Then I added in some Dulce granules. I hope I'm saying that right. I, I don't know. Um, but it's supposed to have like a seed like taste. I would have done the seaweed guys but I didn't want that green to show up in the pizza. Then I also added some Obey and some Slap Your Mama into the marinade and I just let it sit while I went to Walmart to run some errands and then I came back and here we are. We are doing this recipe completely mock meat free. So for our lobster I got this from Amazon. Boom, bam, boom, guys. Life Gourmet Shop. Um, forgot how much I paid for it. I'll put it on the screen right here. Um, it came like in two weeks. Mm, directions on how to rehydrate these lobster mushrooms. We place the dried mushrooms in a bowl. We cover the mushrooms with warm water. And after 30 minutes have gone by, gently lift the mushrooms out of the water using a strainer. Okay. Use your fingers to squeeze excess water out. The mushroom should be clean, plumped, and ready to use. Okay. Uh, I don't know how much of this we're going to use. Let's use all of it. Hey guys, real quick before we get back to the video, some of you guys had questions on how I use my Teamy Blends Greens Superfood Blend. So this is one of the examples I will do if I don't do my regular almond milk, agave, and ice mixture. I'll take some mixed fruit, add in my Teamy Greens, add in some almond milk, and put it in my blender, blend that on up, and I will make a smoothie bowl because I love them. And this one I'm just adding pecans, some coconut flakes, some hemp seed, and then I'm gonna take some of the mixed fruit out of the bag and add that as well. Now, one thing I forgot to do is add some agave to my smoothie, but I'm just gonna add it on top for a little extra burst of sweetness, and then I enjoy, yes. Okay guys, while we let our mushrooms do their thing, we're going to use this store-bought pizza crust. Now, I read the ingredients and it seems to be vegan, but I know you guys who are super vegan might say something else. I don't know what thiamina mosturate and rubber float, I don't know what that means, so I'm sorry if that means sheep's wool, but to my knowledge, this is vegan. Let me know in the comments if it is not, but I am using Pillsbury Pizza Crust, okay? Y'all are out of focus, that's not the camera fault. It's not on auto, amen? All right. First, y'all, we're gonna brush the bottom of our cast iron skillet with this good butter that I melted. Country crock, plant butter. Just gonna brush the bottom of our pan like a little child who cannot paint, all right? I'm gonna kinda stretch it, y'all. I'm stretching it first so it can fit in the pan. And this can be our thick crust right here. I don't know what I'm doing. I got this recipe um, idea from Stovetop Kisses. She is not vegan, but I had to veganize it when I saw it. I feel like I'm gonna hate this crust. Oh, fix it, Lord. Now to the rest of our butter, we're gonna add some garlic powder. Okay, that was about a teaspoon. So we can have a garlic butter, okay? Bam. I'm just gonna pour the rest of that right on our pizza and paint like a child again. All right, my oven is already preheated to 350. We're gonna let this sit in there for about 20 minutes. My stove is on medium. I'm gonna go ahead and add in our heavy cream, AKA coconut milk. Whole can going in. Whole, all right, whole can don't wanna go in, that's fine. Here we go. Oh. Ah, I just cut myself. I'm bleeding. Hold on, let me go get a band-aid. Y'all see that? Why? Okay, y'all, I'm back from the hospital. All right, so we got our heavy cream. Add some Italian seasoning. 
Okay. We're gonna add some Cajun seasoning. About, this is about a half a teaspoon each, guys, but just add in small increments as you go. Stir that, oh, it already smells good. It already smells good. That's my alarm for the pizza crust, y'all. I told y'all 20 minutes, but it's really five. Five minutes. That ain't really, I'm gonna do 10 minutes. I'm going off her video. She said five, but I'm gonna do five more. Okay. Y'all know I do everything with this <laughs> Crazy Jane seasoning, so I'm gonna add a little bit of that in there as well. Don't want it too salty. Again, about half a teaspoon. This ain't really coming out a lot. I know it looks like I'm adding a lot, but I'm not. I'm gonna add in some of my favorite Parmesan by Follow Your Heart. This is about half the, the tub, but let me measure it so we know what I'm using. All right, guys, so that is about half a cup of Parmesan. Let's use another half a cup, and if that doesn't thicken it, I'm going to put in some, either some cornstarch or some mozzarella. I haven't decided quite yet what the next move is going to be. I'm actually gonna go ahead and turn this off, and if it doesn't thicken, we're gonna make some adjustments. All right, guys, here is the pizza. Let me get out the way to light. After 10 minutes in the oven, so we're gonna go ahead and take this out and set it aside. Back to our sauce, I'm gonna add the juice of one whole lemon. Now that's definitely gonna add more water to our sauce. I am well aware, <laughs> and I'm fully prepared to add some cornstarch to our sauce to thicken it up. Let me give it a little taste, actually. See where we are in life. No, I'm gonna add some onion powder, some garlic powder, lots of garlic powder, honey. She need help. Because it's a seafood recipe, I'm gonna add a little bit of Old Bay to here. Now let's get that a stir. Okay, we're actually getting more saucy as it cools down. I'm not mad at the consistency as much anymore. It's still liquidy, but I feel like when it bakes, but we'll see. Okay, this is about a fourth a cup we're gonna add. So we use, what is that? What's a half? So we put a cup and a fourth in here so far. That's what we got so far. Let me clean up. I'm trying to be professional today. I'm gonna add a little bit of my Crazy Janes. Well, more. Huh. You can only do it a little bit at a time, y'all, because you can't take it away once we put it in there. All right, let me get another clean spoon because I do have a taste tester coming. All right. Okay. I think I'm with it. I think I'm with it. Let's pour that bad boy on in there. There we go. Now I can see. All right. Yes, I want the sauce everywhere. I want it on the crust and everything. That already looked good. Boom. All right, remember our heart of palm from earlier? We're gonna put that on in there. This is our crab meat. We're gonna take some green onion. We're gonna cut off these ugly parts, but then we're gonna cut that on up in there. I'm not gonna use this, the wilted part because we don't want that in our pizza. All right, now we're gonna add in our mozzarella. We are using Via Life today because I know some of y'all don't like Daya, so I switched it up for you. <laughs> All right, guys, our lobster should be hydrated now. It feels, definitely you cannot, I mean, it's pliable now. I believe they're hydrated. It fit, I don't know how they're supposed to be. Like I told you, I only tried one of these, and this is the texture it came out to be last time. So it's the time is up. So let's squeeze these bad boys out and season them. Oh my God, I'm so excited. That looks like a real, what? Hey, okay, water is poured out. I'm not gonna season all these y'all because we're not gonna use all of them. I think I'm gonna use the rest in another recipe. But all right, let me take this many here and we're gonna squeeze. Oh, it's still a lot of water in there. Look at that, wow. Okay. Now let me get a separate bowl so we can season. Y'all, I can't get over how this looks. I cannot get over how this looks like lobster. That is crazy. I'm gonna use the same bowl we had the butter in from earlier. 
Cause why not? Why not get a little butter in there too? Okay. Do that. Oh, I am so excited. Oh, gonna use a little Cajun seasoning. I don't wanna use too much. Actually, you know what? I do wanna use some more butter though. Just cause I really want it to taste like some good lobster. Okay. So let me melt a little butter on top of here. This Don't do this. Don't do it. I, what am I? What is this? Delete that. Rewind it. Okay, guys, after putting your Tonys on, let's actually melt a little butter on top of here, about a tablespoon. And I'm going to put this in a microwave for about 20 seconds. All right, didn't melt too much, but enough. All right, going to melt that on in there. Look at that. It smells so good. Add a little bit of our obey, just enough to cover everything and mix it in some more. Yes, y'all, y'all know I'm about to taste one. Don't worry about it. Don't think I'm not about to taste one of these. Ooh, back up. <laughs> it was two clips. All right, here we go. Taste of lobster. They are not done. Oh man, y'all, my taste test is on the way. So I don't have time for you to soak some more. Oh, they felt so done. What I'm gonna do to improvise, we gotta cut these up in little pieces. I like the taste, don't taste like lobster, but I could dig it. Like it ain't bad. Let me taste this piece. Look, I see, I like it. I'm ain't done soaking though. Oh, oh. Mmm. Oh, that piece has some seasoning on it. Okay, so here's what trick I'm gonna do. I'm gonna cut these up real small. Cause we don't have time. My taster's on the way, okay? Huh, guessing these needed longer than 30 minutes. So I would say, shoot, take your time. Do a whole hour, y'all. Do a whole hour. All right, guys, I cut up in small pieces and I won't use all of it, but I'm excited. I'm still excited. All right, so boom, in goes our lobster for our lobster and crab pizza. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm really trying to get it in the seasoning. Okay. Bow, and of course, we're going to top it with even more cheese. So we got our parm. I'm also gonna do our mozzarella. I mean, sorry, we got our mozzarella. So now I'm also gonna do the Parmesan cheese on there as well. Okay. This is probably too much cheese, but then again, ew, it's pizza. Can you have too much? Y'all probably like, yes, yes, girl. Yes, yes, girl, you can. Okay, boom. And then we're gonna add some Italian seasoning on top of this. Okay. And then my oven is preheated to 450 degrees, y'all. And now, okay, so for regular cheese, you don't have to cover. This is vegan. I learned my lesson. We're going to cover this with aluminum foil. All right, yes, we are. We're going to check back on this bad boy in 10 minutes. If it's not done, 20, we're going to just check on it. Okay, here we go. Okay, guys, it's been 10 minutes. Let's see about our pizza. Vegan gods, please, <laughs> please. Oh, okay. All right, now I'm gonna let it book bake for five more minutes with no foil. This is hot, okay? Guys, it's been 10 minutes. So 10 minutes covered, 10 minutes uncovered. Let's get the pizza out of the oven. Y'all hear that? What is she saying? <laughs> I don't know, she better be saying she's delicious, okay? Let's let it cool off for five minutes. We're gonna cut it. We're gonna cut it. All right, guys, here we are. I'm excited. Are y'all excited? Woo, I imagine y'all are clapping. All right, let's cut it. Hold up, hold up. Oh, 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 I need a thumbnail. Wait a minute. So we're gonna burn our mouth. See, we're gonna pick it up. Y'all slim here, sorry. He's like, you looking at me. <laughs> God, stop it. We did that. We did that, y'all. 
critiques. More salt. I don't want it salty, but huh. Let me sprinkle some a little bit of Crazy James on here, y'all. Crazy James. It's my favorite. I love it. Taller than me. Are you gonna? You, are you focused? Are you good? You good with that? Okay. Y'all like got mega knees, man. Yeah. You didn't even squat nowhere. Ugh, that shit hurt. Oh wow. Okay. Y'all ignore my kitchen. I cooked yesterday, so y'all know the drill. Okay. Anyway. Can you introduce yourself? Tease it fun time, baby. I'll have an Instagram right here on the screen. Man, I produce, I rap, I engineer, I song, right? I do a little, you know, then bada boom, bang, bang, little slip, some flip. Right, right. So we went to high school together. That's how I know him. And I called him over because he opened the channel for a while. We have been out of high school for. Ah! Oh, wait, none of y'all business. <laughs> The sauce, y'all, I put the sauce on. Well, I'll let him bite it first, and I'm gonna put the extra sauce. I'm scared. The extra sauce on there, okay? Okay. Hey, gang, son. Oh my gosh. Mmm. Mmm. What is this? Mm. Tastes healthy. <laughs> Something called lobster mushroom. Just discovered it. Lobster mushrooms. Heart of palm. Um, and the rest is just vegan cheeses. But now try this sauce. I ain't gonna put it on top. I'll put it okay. right here. A little dip, little dip, dip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. I think that set it off for me. Mm. That's a pretty good crust too. What kind of crust do? Oh, that's a, that's just Pillsbury. I didn't make the crust. No, I know. Sorry. I don't. Pizza crust is stressful. That's pretty good, girl. I, I agree with Slim. I wouldn't know this was seafood pizza um, because I didn't put enough seafood flavors. I was too scared for it to be salty. So y'all, y'all can go, not go in, but go up. Um, but either way, it is good. It's a good pizza. Make it. Just make the necessary adjustments because uh, with the rest of this, I'm going to add the sauce on top. Did the sauce elevate it for you? Oh yeah, the salt bus. The salt, listen. So what I would do y'all on the rest of this here, Drizzle your sauce on top. Bussin' the lid. I don't know what we're doing, but you know. Yes, do that. All right, y'all. Make this. We're gonna holler at y'all later. He's still eating, so y'all know it's a good sign. All right, bye. <laughs> okay, y'all. It is several hours later. I did not want to leave y'all without the official taste test of these lobster mushrooms. Like literally, I put them back in the water. It is 7.34. I don't know what time it was earlier last time, but I wanted, it definitely was before four o'clock. So, hours, okay? So the texture definitely feels different to me on the smaller ones, but like this large one still feels gummy to me. But if this don't work, this is just the real texture, okay? That's just what it is. So let's pour out all the water. Boom, boom, okay? Squeeze out this water. I already have some melted butter here. I'm just gonna simply season with uh, Old Bay and paprika, smoked paprika to be exact. Just sprinkle that on in there. Look, the kitchen, a little semi-clean. That's how y'all know it's hours later. It's clean for now. All right, sprinkle that. Okay, boom, okay. Oh, it's the future crab bowl for me. Oh, this is too indulgent, it's too much butter. Is that a thing? Look y'all, look at the fat vegan. Oh, all right, it's the real taste test, okay? Oh my gosh. It's still slightly like chewy. That must just be the real texture of Norster mushroom. If somebody else had it, I mean, oyster. I mean, I could do it, but I wouldn't like order these again just to be like, oh yes, I'm having lobster tonight. But y'all let me know in the comments if you had this, what, it, what I might have done wrong, or is this, or are they just a little chewy? Yeah, a little chewy. But, good, definitely good. Probably better on a sandwich. Here's what I'm gonna do with the rest of it though. I put the rest of the sauce in here. I say we drizzle it. Why, ain't nobody else coming? Why not, watch this. <laughs> so what if we do? Just on a little piece. That's all I'm eating tonight, for real, y'all. You know this is too indulgent. All right, so I put a little lobster right there. And what if we hit him with the, the ooh-wee? All right, it's not, it wasn't cute. Never mind. I thought it would be cute, it's not. <laughs> but let me go ahead and get this piece. Yes, I'm cut with a spoon. It's my pizza. Can y'all see the fat? 
Get out of here. Ah! All right, this is with the drizzle. It's too much. Mmm. So if you make this, either drizzle on top with the actual something to drizzle with, not what I just did, or before you put on your Parmesan, add one more layer of sauce. That's it right there. As always, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time. Peace.